of uh, Southern Indiana. The athletic director is here. Welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to uh, St. Charles, Missouri. And on the scoreboard, your kids are doing, uh, uh, from a, a slow start, uh, have really rallied and played well here. Yeah, battled back a little bit. Like you said, Rick, it was a very tough start here. But uh, grind our way back in a little bit. Hopefully we can make a little bit of a game in the second half. John Mark, uh, your, your coach uh, has done a great job here, and he's been there for a long time. As, uh, Rick has been a long time, not only a graduate, but an assistant, now the head coach, and quite a run this year. Yeah, we've had a great run. Um, yeah, Rick played, as you said, for USI. He was an assistant coach under Chance Dugan, who had great success at USI, and and took over a, a while back. And Rick's just a, 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 a very good basketball coach. He's great in our community. The coaches and our staff really uh, gravitate to him. He's a, kind of a leader in our department. And uh, I'm glad he's had the success. We've had a couple tough years here and there. and uh, But I think as you can see and you, as you guys call these games, the teams that really rise to the level of championship level have a, a solid group of seniors that have kind of worked their way up through the ranks, and, and Rick's done a good job bringing these young women along. And so hopefully we can, you know, battle back here. If we don't, if this doesn't come out in the right end for us today, hopefully we have a chance to, to redeem ourselves a little bit in the NCAA tournament. Well, you guys have played very well on the women's side this year, as evidenced by your appearance here in the semifinals. But have a, a lot of success in other sports. A baseball national championship last year for Tracy Archuleta. Yeah, it was uh, just an unbelievable want, a run. He's won a couple of tournament or championships now in 2010 and 14, and he's just done an amazing job. He took over in 2007, I believe, and I believe we finished 11th in the league the year before, and then the next year, his first year, we finished in the College World Series, and it's just gone gone on since yeah. then. It's, uh, you know, teams from the Midwest don't usually win national championships in baseball, so we're very proud of the way we've represented this region, and uh, you know, hopefully we can keep this uh, run going as one of the top programs in D2. Well, since you speak of that, how has the weather affected uh, your your baseball schedule this year? It's been tough. We've had a lot of games canceled. We've only played three. We started the year off against the University of Tampa, who was ranked either Tampa or us was one and two in most of the preseason polls. We went to Tampa. Uh, went one and two down there, uh, squeaked out the game on Sunday, and uh, but we haven't played since. So we're hoping to get some in this week, but it's it's been, I think we've probably canceled, oh shoot, six, seven, eight games well, so far. Yeah, join the club. I think everybody. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so everybody's in the same boat. John Mark Hall is our guest here at halftime, and uh, John Mark at uh, Southern Indiana. Uh, not only are you now the uh, director of athletics, you had some success in tennis as a five-time GLBC tennis coach of the year. Yeah, I, I did. When I was the assistant AD, I coached. Um, I had a tennis background. I coached for a few years and had a really good you – know, we had really good guys. Recruited a lot from southern Indiana region. And, uh, had a few international guys that came and helped our program. And, uh, yeah, we, it was a lot of fun. I, it, I think it's uh, – hopefully it helped me become a better athletic director, understanding what the coaches go through on a day-to-day -day basis as far as recruiting and preparing teams and travel and, all, as you know, all the stuff around it. So, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And we've had some good success since then yeah. in men's tennis. And uh, – I think we're ranked, I don't know, 26th, 27th in the nation right now, off to a good start. Well, and I think you bring up an interesting point. As a former coach, you have a lot of empathy for, for coaches that you're working with? Well, I do. I think it's I think people, uh, it's easy in, for Joe Public. And, and again, I, I've, before I got in athletic administration, I mean, I'm a big sports fan, sure. so I mean, I understand. But, you know, a team loses a game, a match, you know, has a down year, and, you know, the tendency is just to jump on the coach and, you know, get after the coach and, and, uh, but, it, it, you know, it's a process, and you have to – I mean, so many things can go right and so many things can go the wrong way. I mean, you know, personalities on the team, injuries, uh, just so many different things. You know, recruiting can go – tough one year you might think you have a person or two locked in they make a last minute decision to go somewhere else so it, it's i do have a lot of empathy it's a tough job but it's a it's a fun job and it, i think our coaches in this league the govc we have some just great coaches and i think that people that aren't familiar with division two don't understand that they put in the same time and the same effort right. than some of these uh, coaches that they watch as division one level john mark you want to bring this up i will 123 wins and 47 losses overall including a 35 and one mark in the GLVC as a tennis coach. Tennis is our next uh, championship event on the uh, Great Lakes Valley Conference Sports Network. It'll be at Rockhurst University April 17th through the 19th. Give us your thoughts on the uh, GLVC Sports Network. Oh, it's, it's, it's awesome. I mean, you guys being here covering this uh, championship and all the championships you've had so far, it's, uh, I think it you know puts our league at a little bit of a different level at Division Two. 
uh, it really brings our fans to the events. It's, it's difficult uh, to get to all the events. We have some very supportive fans in, in all of our markets. And, uh, you know, I think this weekend was a good example. You know, our area in Louisville really got hit by a lot of snow. Right. And so those Thursday and Friday games, people really didn't want to, you know, to get out. So this opportunity for our fans and our community to still be able to see the games and be a part of that's it's a huge deal. And to be able to, to cover a sport like tennis, I mean, you know, again, I wasn't – when I was coaching, we didn't have that opportunity. What a great way for uh, for visibility. So, you know, calling up a recruit and telling them to, to see the level of our play in our league, I mean, it's just a, it's a huge um, a huge advantage for our league. Yeah, and you had two kids that also were part of our production here uh, that helped as part of the extra credit program. John Mark Hall has been our guest here at halftime. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. And uh, continued success at uh, USI. Appreciate it. Our score, 30-21, to 21, as Lewis on top of USI. And we're back with more from the Great Lakes Valley. Conference Basketball Championships on the Great Lakes Valley Conference Sports Network where champions are crowned. What is a great university? It is a spark igniting a lifelong passion for learning. A beam of light 